I'm very excited by it. It's uh, rather new to me to be working with such a wide range of expertise. Now, I'm a psychiatrist. You know, I normally talk to people who treat addicts, who look at the neurobiology of addiction. But what we're doing here is bringing together you know, a real wide range of disciplines. And so far, yeah, it's been quite thrilling to, to see the other approaches, the other questions that people have to deal with. Well, I think we need to revise the way we view addiction. I think we're, particularly the UK at present, we're going through a, a strange time when people are, are saying addiction doesn't exist and it's more a lifestyle choice. And I think from this, hope to get a European consensus which will actually tell us that addiction is a serious issue that the European governments have to do something about, invest in strongly. It's pretty clear at present that, that policy drives policy. And when science helps it, they suck the science on board. And when science opposes policy, certainly my government has actually ignored science and rejected it. So there is a big dimension here about trying to, to really put science at the heart of policy. Uh, we have to, at all levels, we have to actively lobby our politicians to get them to accept, not, ju not just to verbalize, but to accept that in the end, evidence-based, science-based policies are the best policies. We need to be making programs, we need to be kind of broadcast, we need, to, we need to be there every time the industry or other forces that actually want to deny the evidence of harm or the evident association of use and, and, and negative effects, every time we get that negative comments uh, made by industry, we've got to be opposing, we've got to be standing up for the scientific base of all we do, of everything we do.